technology, the power. And uh, I'm so proud of the people at NASA, all the people that work together, public and private. And when you see a site like that, it's incredible. The power of that machine and the danger, no matter how you figure. When you, when you hear that sound and you hear all of that, the roar, you can imagine how dangerous it is when you feel the shake. And we're very far away, but you feel the shake over here. It's pretty, pretty amazing. A beautiful sight, a beautiful ship, too. That's really a beauty. Considered a beauty, I would say it's a beauty. So they have a long way to go, but that's a very dangerous part of it right there. That's a big part of the danger, what you just witnessed. So we're very honored to be here. Have you talked to Elon Musk? Yes, I have. I spoke to Elon. Today? Well, I won't get into it, but yeah, I, but I speak to him all the time. Great guy. He's one of our great brains. We like great brains, and Elon's done a fantastic job. But that was a beautiful sight to see, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to be saying a few words inside, so I'll see you inside. Okay? Thank you very much. Very great honor to have you here. Did you speak to the astronauts beforehand? Uh, I did. I did. What did you tell them? I did. I did. Just God bless you. Nothing else you can say. God bless you. They have a lot of courage. More credit, more courage. And I don't know, even our congressmen, I don't think they have our senators, our congressmen. I don't know. Would you do that, no. leader? Would you do that? I don't think so. I don't know. He might. You know who would do it? Brian would do it. I, 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 I'd, oh, be, yeah. I'd be the first one. If, he, if it was legal, Elon to give us a ride, we'd go. Yeah. You would do it, too. I know you. He I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> now, an amazing honor. You know, four years ago, this place was essentially shut down. The space program was over. The shuttle program was dead. One of the Secret Service men said they were here with the past administration. I won't tell you who. And they were here to shut down the facility. And now we're the leader in the world again. And this is just the beginning. They're going to Mars. They go to the moon, but they're going to the moon in order to go to Mars. It's a platform. Jim, would you say that's a yes, correct sir. statement? That's right. Uh, Jim, I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate the Vice President. Incredible job. We have the Governor of Florida, as you know. Governor, congratulations to you. Thank you for everything you've done for the program. And you know Rick, Rick Scott. And Marco is here someplace. Rick, Rick was a great governor. Now he's a great senator. We appreciate you being here. Marco's here someplace. And uh, we appreciate everybody being here. But this was a a tremendous uh, sight to see. I had no idea when you, you know, I, I said, would you hear anything? Because we're quite a distance away. And then all of a sudden, you hear that roar, and it's uh, incredible, the power. You wouldn't think that machine, as big as it is, it looks small from here, could have that kind of power, that kind of, make that kind of sound, or that vibration. But it's really something special. So uh, I'm going to be saying a few words to you inside, so we'll uh, see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Given everything that's happening in the country, I think that this is such a great inspiration for our country. Our country is doing well. It's going to do fantastically well. We think next year is going to be one of the best years we've ever had economically. Uh, we suffered something that was terrible. It should have never happened. should have never come out of China. But it did. They didn't stop it. They were unable, probably, to stop it. They should have been able to stop it. We would have helped them, and we would have helped them very effectively. But they didn't. And it spread to Europe. It spread to the entire world. It spread to the U.S. It should have never happened. Now, that's one of the reasons I wanted to be here today. I thought it was so important to be here today. And I think any one of you would say that was an inspiration to see what we just saw. The genius, the money, the, the even the economy. Ron, this, uh, what this adds to your economy is incredible, right? Sir. This is incredible. And uh, real talent, real genius. Nobody does it like us. So it's great to have this whole program back, and it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. We have many more things to come. It's a lot of jobs. It's a lot of technology. You know, we have Space Force now. And thank you very much for being here. General, we appreciate it very much. Number one, you know, one of the things we've done is created the Space Force. First program in, uh, if you look, uh, I guess it's 74 years now. It was 72, and now it's 74. And uh, time flies. But since the Air Force, so we have a major branch of the military, Joint Chiefs of Staff, everything full, full honors. It's called the Space Force. We did that during the Trump administration. 
Uh, Mike Pence was so helpful. Everybody here was helpful, frankly. We needed lots of votes, and we got them. And really, it wasn't that hard once we started explaining what it's all about. But space will be one of the most important things we've ever done. I think so. I think Amen. space will be one of the most important. I put it up there with 280 federal judges, two Supreme Court judges. I think space will be one of the most important things we've ever done. So uh, we'll see how it all works out. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in time.